Hello everyone, what we're going to do now is have a quick look at a Lord of the Rings online plugin called Tonic Bars. Um, basically it's um, a plugin which gives you the option to have as many of these quick slot bars as you like. Um, I'll just quickly show you the bar that I have set up using this plugin. If you look down the bottom right of the screen, you can see here, um, mine pops up when I press and hold control up the top. When I hover over it, it brings out an expandable row of icons. All of my um, travel skills, underneath that, all of my mounts, underneath that, um, I've got a whole load of my favourite emotes. Um, under that, uh, some hunter tracking skills, and then at the bottom, um, my stances and a couple of other skills. What we'll do now is have a look at how to install and actually run the plugin. So follow the next few screens, that will show you where to go to download it and how to get it all set up. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed Tonic Bars into your Lord of the Rings Online Plugins folder, you need to run the game and go down into the chat box at the bottom left or wherever you might have it positioned and type in slash plugins load tonic bars and then hit return. What you'll see is a little message that pops up should say uh, loaded plugin tonic bars. So now the plugin is up and running, what we need to do is set up some new quick slot bars. Now to do that you need to bring up the options for the tonic bars plugin itself. Uh, the easiest way I do it is to type in slash TB in the chat and then hit return. And that will bring up this options menu. Uh, now just briefly, if you go into the general settings part of the options, down at the bottom there's an option that says display launcher. Um, if there's a tick in there, up at the top left of your screen, you'll have a little shortcut button to get into this options menu. If you take the tick out, then you have to get into the options menu by typing slash TB or slash tonic bars in the chat. Okay, so to set up a new quick slot bar, click on quick slots, click on add, just underneath where it says general, click in the name box and give your bar a name, I'll call this example 1, click on set to save it, just underneath the name box is a section where you can control the visibility of this bar, if it says always then that bar will always be shown or you can set it up so that the bar is only shown when it's triggered by something. Uh, so you select triggered and then you can tell the plugin what you want to trigger the visibility. So for example, do you have to press a button? Is it when you're in combat, out of combat, etc. If you scroll down a little further, you'll get to the section called quick slots. This area is where you can control using rows and columns how big you want your bar to be and what sort of shape. So do you want a horizontal one like that or uh, do you want a vertical one like this? Or do you want a grid of a, of a certain size? Um, and that can go right the way up to 50 by 50 which is big enough for anyone. Okay so once you've picked your bar's size and orientation you then want to position it correctly on your screen. You can only do that through having the tonic bar's main menu open like this. Uh, you just click on the top of the bar and you can move it around. 
then once you're happy with that, close down the tonic bars main menu and then you can start to fill up your new bar with skills, mounts, even inventory items, absolutely anything that you want can go in there. Now if at any point you do want to change the position of your bar or maybe how many slots are available in it, all you need to do is go down into the chat box, type slash TB or slash tonic bars, hit return and then it will bring up the main menu again for you to look at. You can then reposition your bar, um, change how many uh, slots are available in it, all sorts. What I'll show you now just quickly is one of the more advanced features of this Tonic Bars plugin, uh, the extensions bar. If you want to set one of those up, bring up the options, click on extensions bars, and then you need to go over and right click on whichever one of your icons you want to become an expandable bar. So in this case I'll do that on my mount here. Right click and then it will bring up an options menu asking me which way do I want that bar to expand. In this case I'm happy with it expanding to the right. So I'll select right. Just like before it's a good idea to give your expandable bar a name. So I'll type in mount, click on set again you can change the orientation in the options there and under quick slots you can change how many icons you want to be available once you're happy with the size of your extension bar don't close down the menu just yet you need to put the skills in first okay so once you've filled up your bar with the skills or inventory items that you want close down the skills window or the inventory windows and then to save that bar all you do is close down the tonic bars main menu like this now when you hover over that icon it will bring up the extensions bar with everything that you've just set up on it so now I've shown you how to set up basic quick slot bars and also make expansions bars you can start to see how I created my own tonic bar down here and you can set yours up to have whatever skills and inventory items you like and you can have more than one bar you can have hundreds probably I've not tried it remember if you want an extra bar if you want to make a new one just go into the chat box forward slash TB or forward slash tonic bars that will bring up the options and show you your current bars that you already have set up if I want to make a new quick slot bar click on quick slots and then click on add and then that will make a new one for me to position where I want and set up the size of etc just like I showed you in the first place you can also go in here at any time to reposition bars that you've already made or delete ones. Just click remove. Just as a note, I have found that the plugin can be a bit buggy sometimes when you've got multiple bars and you decide to try and move them around. Make sure before moving a bar, click general settings, then move the bar that you want to move and then after you've positioned that bar if you want to move another one click general settings again before moving the next bar if you don't do that sometimes you might find that your expandable bars will go a bit haywire um, if that happens just close down the options menu go back in and you might have to reset up that expandable bar Okay, so lastly, I'll show you how to set up a plugins button so that you can just click on that to load the plugin each time you run the game. To do this, uh, you'll need to free up this quick slot button here. I'm going to do that by simply moving my skill to a free slot. 
if you've not got a free slot, just move the skill into the empty space of the screen and let it drop to delete it and remember to put that skill back afterwards. Okay, so what you need to do is go into the chat and type in slash shortcut one slash plugins load tonic bars and then hit return and you'll see that you now have a button that you can move to a spare slot in one of your quick slot bars so that when you load the game you just click that button and it loads the plugin so just quickly to show you that I've unloaded the plugins imagine I've just run the game click on that button that I just created and then up pop my tonic bars that I've just made and shown you in this video uh, just remember for my one down the bottom right that has been set up so that it's triggered to show when I press and hold control um, and you can set that up in the options of tonic bars when you're making the bar or alternatively you can go in and change that at any time you like. Just as an example of how hardcore you can go, I've set up some random uh, quick slot bars on my screen here. You can see dotted all around the middle here. Um, now some of them, like you can see at the moment, those are visible all the time. I've also set up some extra ones that only show up when I press shift. Um, some other ones that only show up when I press and hold alt. And finally some more that only show up when I press and hold control. So you can see there the potential with this plugin is huge. Hang on a uh, what? I've just right, hang on a second guys, I've noticed something really weird here. If I press all of them at once, a strange message appears. Damn Geo! Crikey!